Hi guys, I just want to make a quick video about the BioPass FIDO2 adapter and show you how you can use it to log in into Linux and use it with sudo as well. Okay, so... Oh, I'm sorry. So, first what you'll need, because FIDO2 is a really new protocol, it just came out, I think, uh, this summer, summer of 2018. So it's fairly new. The support is, is, th is there and ready, but you'll need pretty bleeding edge stuff to get it to work. Uh, other than that, it's pretty similar to other U2F devices, except that it requires, it's a different protocol talk with the adapter so it re requires a different library for that so first what you'll need is libfido2 and you'll need a pretty latest version like at the time of this video you'll need to build from master or at least if you go in the commits to make sure libfido2 works with the biopass biopass adapter you'll need uh I'm, I'm sorry this commit and code cozy algor algorithm as per spec so you'll need that one so you might as well build the latest master if you're going to build but at least you should have this commit from this december 8 and maybe that one also from December 12, which will give you the UDEV rules. But you could do it them by hand also if you prefer. It's not too complicated. I can show you the rules even right now if you want. So I got them right here. So what you'll need for the biopass, it's just at the end of this or in your custom one if you want you just need that so the vendor id is the same 096e but then you also need the product id 085d which is the one of the biopass fido 2 adapter and then you'll need the uh, version of PAM U2F but you'll need a version which includes this pull request here so you might either you, you take the pull request or you go in, in uh, this repository of uh, Pedro Martello, Marteletto um, or oh, it's right here and then you take his FIDO2 branch this is just to modify to have PAM U2F works with to work with the libfido2 library and if you're going to build PAM U2F with the libfido2 library then you should follow the instructions here at least the dependencies here and how to recreate the build files and how to compile it I must say you don't have to compile it if you don't want to because I've made dev packages so if you want you can also use my dev packages so you have libfido2 but it comes also with tools uh, that are nice the tools lets you see the adapters you have like let's see here see this fido2 token it's coming from the fido2 tools package and then you can list the adapters you have and uh, on what uh, device it is so this is nice uh, 
but the, there's also other tools like Fido 2 cred I think you can wipe the device clean um, no it might be with token still I can't remember yeah I think Fido 2 token minus R wipes the device clean if you do a lot of tests you might want to wipe the device so this is like I think it's three three nice little tools that comes with the lip Fido 2 and then and then there's also that the lip Fido 2 udev which would take care of the udev problem but the problem is uh, that this package lib fido to udev uh, is in conflict with lib u2f udev which on my system it was installed by default and it's the um, ubuntu desktop package that depends on it so i didn't want it to to um, remove that package like force remove it or something I was not sure if it would break my desktop so I left it there and I edited the um, udev rules manually I can show you um, or oh no I even copied the file you can do that you take, can take this file and copy it and then reload your rules yeah that's what I've done so I have the one with the FIDO2 support so that will work and then you also need to install PAM, PAM U2F tool uh, so from there you're pretty good um, at that point what you need to do is follow that website I'll put the URL for you guys in the description along with uh, a link to my uh, Ubuntu packages I must say the packages as you see here they're built for Ubuntu 18.10 which I know like not many people probably use uh, because it's not the long-term support but it might work with 1804 as well I haven't tested it so I'm not sure but uh, you might want to give it a try if you're on 1804 maybe let people know in the comments if it works or not I haven't tested it so this website is not made for uh, FIDO2 but it's the same process once you've installed the dependencies like please don't follow the first part uh, all the compilation section because we don't need those libraries but uh, it's the end that's important uh, I mean from here so once you install the PAM U2F package then you have this tool and you can run this line which will put the it will create credentials on your U2F device and return the public key public portion of the key and put it in this file um, and you can specify uh, different name here I'm not too sure how much you can modify them for me I haven't tested different uh, names than these uh, but I think as long as it matches this configuration it's fine you could put whatever so you do that and then you'll have the public uh, version uh, the public part of the key of the key here and then what you do is you edit this file the 
etc pamd common auth file which I have here this is mine and then on top of it you put this line right here there's other things like here on the website they put put debug and queue you might want to try it with debug at first so you'd see if it works fine and then queue it shows the user let's say you you do sudo something it will queue put a queue to touch the device so if you keep 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 forgetting to touch it like you're used to typing your password and you don't know what's going on then maybe you can leave the queue to me i feel it looks better with no queue anyway the you'll see when i i log in that the usb adapter the led uh, flashes on it so you get used to it pretty 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 quickly so there's also the sufficient part of it uh, sufficient mean that you can log in with the key or with the password like if there's no key it's fine you can still log with your password as you would do usually so to me it's this is the best setting i can log with the key like to me it's just a convenience factor to log with the key so i don't have to type my password all, all the time but if i don't have the key i don't want to be locked out so i leave it as sufficient but you guys might want to put it at at, at required like uh, on the website they do at the end they put required then you really need the key or else you can't log in uh, still i must say if you're locked out like you put require required and then your usb adapter dies you can boot on the live cd and then our live usb adapter and just uh, change the setting there and then reboot and you'll be fine but to me i prefer sufficient so this is my config so at the end of all that what what you'll have is that you'll be able to authentify with your fingerprint on the key so let's say i sudo or sudo id or something then you see it flashes and then i just put my finger and then it works and then i log in and it works like it gets it gets buffered like sudo would do normally and it also works uh, for the login of the machine but i think i cannot show you that because the capture won't work i'm not sure but it's the same thing like it would will work for the whole thing even uh if you log in, in into your user in a console and not in graphical it will also work with the key so i hope you found that helpful Bye.